So one went to the doctors yesterday uh, at the hub at Manchester, North Manchester Royal. I have been given the proxin, 500 milligram, two to be taken, well, two per day. Uh, Zapane, 500 milligram, no more than eight in a day. And diazepam. <laughs> what did I do? You're like fucking hell, Kaima. You're a proper addict. You ain't you some worth you done. Um, I tore my back, damaged it last Thursday. Unfortunately, in the gym now. How? It was just unfortunate. I'm always one like you know for doing things right, and it was just one of those things. You know where you just like. He just turned a slightly bit wrong, and kapink, the pop tear twist sensation in the lower back, and there it went. And now, the outcome of that is, I'm a bit of a crackhead now, because I've got to take all this stuff. I'm not used to taking this amount of um, medication. I've never, had I've never had this much medication in my life, ever. It's horrendously painful, though. Anybody who's done the lower back, I've done my lower right side, you know for yourself, like, that sensation is, especially if you, you slightly tear and uh, slightly tear twist a muscle that comes right down the leg on the inside, affecting your knee as well. Um, you know, driving is my, not allowed to drive, not allowed to drive because of the diazepam. Not allowed to drive. No driving. Diazepam, no. I'm like, shit, okay. I've got to respect that. Uh, the other stuff, it makes you tired. I don't know how people take it. Uh, I don't know how people could do naproxen, uh, zapain, and diazepam on a daily basis to keep moving around. Honestly, hand on my heart, I don't know how you guys do it because it fucking makes me tired. So one's going to change one's routine slightly. I'm going to box more. I'm going to box. I will use the floor to ceiling bowl because it's uh, the path of least resistance, you know. Just for, for keeping healthy, for keeping the very, very light movement, it's going to cause a least vibrational effect upon the body. Very, very light stretching. Uh, anybody who does fuck the back up like this, hot cold treatment works for some people. I find hot baths really work and I stretch. Let myself soak in the bath for about 10 minutes and then I'll, I'll slowly start to stretch. Uh, the, excuse me, the medication, and I'll. I slowly start to stretch um, try and pull that tension out my lower back to get, keep that suppleness. It's difficult, to say the least. And the first time I've done it, it's the first time I've done a major, major one like this for a very, very, very long, got to be 30 years, 30 years at least. But ironically, the pain is similar to when I accidentally damaged my hip, not realised I damaged my hip and carried on training for years to the point where they replaced it with titanium. So it's a similar pain. And obviously, when if, you, if you've had something like that in the past, you just get used to the pain, don't you? It's just part of life. Where this is a onset and sudden, it's like, fuck. And the realisation of like, Wow, I dealt with that type of pain for years, like it was nothing. Crazy, isn't it? But yeah, the um, it's weird effects on your body, man. Uh, it has a weird effect on your body. Um, naproxen, zapain, and you know, diazepam. I've, I'm kind of clammy and sweaty, and it's not because of the heat. That doesn't bother me. It's just really weird. And I keep feeling tired with it, <laughs> which is proper strange, isn't it, right? But anyway, not a lot can do with that. Now, while we're here in the heat together, in a, in a room with teddies on the shelf with books, which I need to sort out all those, there are my notebooks on the top there, I've got so many of them. Some of them, some of my notebooks on the top of the shelf there with some light bulbs. Yes, chaos in one me. So. Reality. 
You are destined to become who you choose. It's that simple. You know, who you choose to become is up to you. Nobody can persuade you, push you, cajole you, whatever. Because at the end of the day, you'll just become the person you're meant to be. You as an individual will find who you are, what you want to be, what you want to do. It's that simple. And may the gods make that speedy and happy for you. Do you know what I mean? Because the reality of that is <sighs> fucking really hard sitting still. <sighs> it's so painful. <laughs> but it's all right. But it's uncomfortable just sitting because of the, the location of where the, the damage is. But fuck it, what can we do? So anyway. You are destined to become who you want to be, not who's going to make you. It's who you want to be, who you choose to be as a person. You know, you can change that at uh, any point. A bad man can become good and a good man can become bad. Same for a lady. lady can become good, she can become bad. Do you know what I mean? And then there are those that follow the path in between where there's a bit of good and a bit of bad. Just the way life is, isn't it? But... It's hard to say to people, try and be a good person when everyone around them is nothing but trying to take advantage, you know, not not very good morality, disrespectful, uh, backbiting, sniping, you know, shit like that. It ain't good. But all I can say is, try and be a good person for yourself. For you, for your benefit, not for anybody else. You can be a good person and have a very, very strong barrier around you of... What's the best way to put it? It's not morality. You can't tell the difference between right and wrong as a human being. There's something wrong with you as a, as a human being. It's not morality. It's... Defining your boundaries, having strong boundaries. You could be a good person to yourself, but have strong boundaries where you just don't allow certain types of behavior or ignorance or arrogance or abuse or whatever it is. You just don't allow it, which is fine. And then, then you have a choice. You can remove those people from your life or choose to keep them where they are or understand exactly what they are. and have limited interaction with them it's up to you or you can just literally just cut them completely out excuse me fuck <sighs> you know you can just cut them completely out it's up to you the choice is yours but it's not easy but all i can say is whatever it is you want to become in this world the only person that can make you become that is you. Okay. I'm not talking about when you're younger. I'm talking about you now have the faculties and understanding as a human being. You've been through the shit. You've been through whatever. You now have a choice. You now have a choice. The choice is yours. Nobody else is now. It's not like somebody forcing you as a child to be something that you don't want to be. That's different. Or, or grooming you into being something or manipulating you. That's different. Okay, at some point, you'll have the strength and the courage to go, no. And when that day comes, congratulations. I am super, super proud of you, no matter where you are, what you're doing, who you are. Fucking high five, because you've now stood up to re the reality of you don't want to be what you've been told you are all your life. Respect. 100%. I went through it myself. I've been through it myself. Oh, you're this, mate. You're one of us. You know what I mean? No, I was being used as a physical weapon to cause harm to other people, to hurt other people, to intimidate, you know, to put fear into other people. Now, don't get me wrong. Those people were bad people. They're not everyday lovely people floating around, you know, trying to have a normal life, trying to be, be straight, trying to work hard, trying to trying to make something for themselves. 
these are takers and of, of the highest, highest caliber, abusers, bad people, you know, manipulators, schemers, robbers, dealers of every type, whatever you want to call them, they were bad people, right? And I was for a long time very much into dealing with those types of people, you know, but the reality of that is what I didn't realize was I was getting a reputation for being a bad person. Don't want to fuck with him, mate. Blah, de, blah, de, blah. He hangs around with these people. He's associated with this, he's associated with that. I had, without thinking, I had put myself in the same cupboard as the very people I fucking hated. I'd now become one of them. I was never the one for taking or abusing or taking advantage of people. It wasn't me, but I wouldn't think twice about terrorizing those that did. But the people that I was doing that for were bad people. <laughs> and I just didn't click because they knew how to I don't know, polish my ego at the time, prep me up, give me focus. You know, I thought I was a really, I thought I was a decent human being at the time, and I wasn't. And the moment I realised that is the moment I decided to change my life. Um, it's really hard. It is really hard, isn't it? You know, you're stepping away from a life of violence and ignorance, because you are ignorant, because you're ignorant to the fact that you're essentially a devil to some people for no other reason for the fact that you can be. But I want to stress the point, I was never a devil to, the, to anybody that didn't harm me or tried to harm me. Never in my life. I'm not about that. I can't do that. And at the same time, I was an absolute fucking angel for other people because I was standing up to these people that were ripping people off and trying to hurt people, trying to harm people and just going for it. But it's a weird sensation, right? It's a weird sensation realising that actually I was just a, a tool to be manipulated by other people to do the dirty work. And the moment I that stopped and I stepped away from that, I was like, fuck, I ain't doing this anymore. It was the moment a lot of them were like, bro, but you're one of us. You know, this is what you are. This is what you do. This is what you are. And I'm like, but this isn't what I am. And this, isn't, this is not what I do as a, as a person. This is not right. And I'm done. And it's over. And a few of those boys uh, genuinely went, you know what, man? Respect. Go forth. Do what you need to do. If you ever need us, we're here for you. 99% of them didn't give a fuck. But there's a few unexpected individuals there that were like, that's all right, man. We are happy you found where you need to go. Because we realise you're not about this game. We realised that from day one. But we never pressured it, we never pushed it because we understand that at some point it was a journey that you was taking. Now these are hardcore fucking criminals, right? <laughs> but at the same time, they respected the fact that I was willing to go and try to be something better than what I was and start to evolve and start to become human. Dare I say the word human? But anyway, it's just a Tuesday waffle and the, the proxin, Zapane and the fucking diazepam. I don't know how you boys and girls take this shit to keep your body moving, but respect to you because it's doing strange things to mine. Stay safe and remember when the darkness comes, you're not on your own.